वो उसने क्या पाना From the disclaimers, testing was performed at Harley-Davidson of Cool Springs on a Dynojet 250i running DWRT Win 8. Tuned with PowerVision, every effort was made to eliminate environmental variances for maximum consistency. All tests were conducted in 2019. Harley-Davidson Street Glide Special with the following components: a 117 cubic inch screen high-compression cylinder pistons, four and a half inch stroke, 4.075 more set, 11 one compression, factory throttle body with screen eagle 5.5 injectors, stock factory heads, screen eagle ventilator air cleaner. Each cam was tested on two exhaust systems: DND Billet Cat 2 into 1 and Full Sack M8 MX head by the Chromeworks M8 four and a half inch classic with competition baffles. The dyno results will be revealed at the end of each run in this video. We will discuss and compare all results at the conclusion of all testing. If you really want to learn something, watch till the end. go over this cam plate because feel like we put a lot of care into this. Oh, hi. Perfect timing. It's so about a year ago we did a video on the OEM, the SNS, the fueling cam plates. 
and it was kind of a quick video to kind of do a broad on all, all three but here we have an opportunity to go more in depth as to what fueling is actually produced because it's very high quality it is a great addition to longevity and to being able to handle some of the big power that we're putting in these motorcycles now so let me kind of show you some of the highlights of this thing let's put these side by side so we'll start from the top okay the fuel oil hole is matched to the case hole the oem is just this great big one so if you look right here at your case the oil hole that goes into your lifters there is a stop on the case itself from the oil being able to go in well fueling has matched the hole and the port so another thing they've done they've got 40 percent more scavenging because they've actually enlarged the scavenge hole here and then again all the case hole oiling holes are matched so here's the scavenge hole on the OEM plate, the scavenge hole on the fueling. They also have cam thrust surface oiling ports, which again is not present on the OEM plate. So that will help lubricate this surface of the cam, which is spinning rapidly against the edge of this plate. Now this was the cam plate that came out of this. It had 100 miles on it before we started doing our cam tests. The SNS gear drive cam was on this plate for its tests. We took that out, installed the fueling plate. The fueling plate will be in for the re remainder of the tests. But you can see the kidneys and the galleys are much deeper on the fueling so that they can handle an increased amount of oil which helps with the amount of increased flow both on the scavenge and on the feed side. They've also got a high velocity pickup for the crank department for the uh, crank. On the scavenge side, you can look at how much bigger and more beefier the fueling gears are. On the pump side, this is the latest revision on the OEM pumps. They offset this port port for the relief. And as of 2019, Harley Davidson has also updated the cover to include a little rubber seal to help seal it against the, crank, the crankcase to help maintain crank pressure. No magnets, not nearly as big as galleys or gear setups, so it can't handle the amount of flow that the fueling pump can handle. The cam plates definitely are in the same ballpark. I do feel like we've been wasting a lot of time. We should get back to the test. Yeah. Cam shootout. We're finally done. Two days. Hard work by this guy. A lot of organization by this guy. And we got it four different cams, two exhausts run on both of them. So not only are we preparing everyone's cam, we can go over the different exhausts and what it did to the graphs and why. Yes. And um, Mike made it. He's got a couple less brain cells. He's here. It's a lot of work in two days. Fresh off the dyno. Smells like motorcycles and gasoline and my favorite perfume in Nashville <laughs> what did we find well I think we found that we have four fantastic cams that we yeah, tested it's not a slouch of them in the bunch first not I want to put a shout out to all the different manufacturers that allowed us to do this super yeah. awesome for them to give us permission to run them through the paces and then post our results first up so the first one we ran was the SNS 475 gear drive on a D&D 
And I'll tell you what, man, it's got great mid-range pull. It has a pretty decent top end. And on the bottom, the one thing that the SNS has is it kind of has that jerk your head back launch. You know, you can see how the, the torque ramps up super severe from 2,000 RPMs to about 2,500. And then it flattens out. So it's just got a really nice freight train pull right after that launch. Yep. And that can sounds terrific. Yeah. I think of all of them, that's probably my favorite sounding can of the bunch. Yeah, the idle is super nice and low beat. It's yep. got a great bark. Yeah, it's got a good hit right at the bottom. It's got one of the smoothest torque curves of them all. Um, all the cams have right around the same torque and horsepower. Um, a couple are going to do better on torque, a couple are going to do better on horsepower. But it's just got a real smooth graph all the way around. No real dips or anything in it, yeah. which is nice. nice. Yeah. Then when you look at it on the Chromeworks exhaust, the power came on a little bit, the torque came on a little bit later. The power hit it about 3,500, but right off the bat on the 2,000 mark, you're already at 120 torque. So yeah. right from launch, it's just all go. Yeah, no dip, no wiggle, no nothing. And what really surprised me about that setup was the way that that, that uh, you know, dual pipe with the slip-ons carried torque out the back end. That seems a little bit yeah. counterintuitive to me, but it did it. It's, it's a really, really nice setup, and uh, the horsepower carries out about the same. Just really, really nice setup. Well, and those X-pipes are really good for mid-range torque, and if you get a good set, you don't have to sacrifice so much bottom end. You know, in this combination, I think we're, we're discovering is a pretty good combo, because, you know, we ran it on all of them, and you go onto the, to the woods cam, the idle's not quite as aggressive, still got a nice little bark with the setup that we put, but I mean... Look right, how flat it is. Yeah, it's right flat from like the a beginning. Tabletop. You know, it's at 120 torque right now. What's well, nice about the Wood 22X is if we have a heavier bike setup, a two-up rider, the way this thing's designed is perfect for two-up riding. It's not going to jerk you back. It's going to be real tame, have a ton of power. Yep and just steadily pull. As so. advertised, I mean, he advertises the cam that way. When you look at the cam card on that, when you get it in the box, it is advertised almost specifically for that heavy, you know, two up, heavy laden, heavily laden touring bagger. Yeah. And then you can see again on the Chromeworks, nice mm -hmm. mid-range pickup on the torque curve. Yep. Still has a great bottom end, and you know, the torque starts to peak around 3,500 instead of earlier, so. If they're in the range of, you know, low RPM, 2,500 to 3,500, and they like the aggressive sound of the D&D, that's great. If they want a little bit more mellow of an exhaust note, and they run, you know, between three and four, the Chrome works is perfect for that. What impressed me too about that setup was the similarity in the way the torque laid out between the D&D and the, uh, the full sack pipe. They're very, very similar in the way they come on early very little difference at all in how they played out. Yeah, you, you see like it, there's a, almost like a little dip, but on the graph, that's like one You're not feeling that. pound of torque. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if anything, you feel a little bit of a bump at 3,000 as you kind of hit that second Cross little through. burst. Yeah, one pipe got 111 horse, one got 110, one got 129 foot pounds of torque, one got 31. And super a lot of close. these cams, yeah, super close. A lot of these cams, what we notice is either exhaust pipe works very well with these setups. Right. If we do a bigger motor, one might work a little better than the other. But this size motor and all these cams, but maybe one or two, we didn't see a huge benefit to switching the exhaust. It's more of your preference, what you want as far as noise, what you want as far as um, look. Yeah. But relatively well, the same, they're, they're... That's also two years of research on exhaust from us. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. because you can pick a different type of exhaust and not see anywhere close to this flat of a curve. Yeah. So, no, we chose these exhausts for a reason. We have <laughs> yeah. exhausts that really suck. They yeah. weren't in the test for a reason. All right? Yeah. Remember that. If you have questions about it, call this guy. Call Aaron. That's what we're here for. We're going to take care of you. Then the comp cam. <laughs> this was a really interesting cam. This is a the most radical cam in the group by far. It has huge duration, it's got a real late intake closing. The exhaust note is, it sounds, sounds like, killer. it sounds like a big block V8 running a comp cam. I mean, it's exactly what you would think it would get. 
I would really like to see this cam in like a 124 with our heads on it. Yeah. You know, maybe even going up against some of the bigger 500, 520 cams, I think this thing could pull its weight. Well, in the numbers you see too, it outperforms everyone horsepower. Right. But if you want to beat the shit out of your bike, and you're that kind of rider, this is the cam that we would probably recommend. Yeah. Especially on that, uh, that, uh, Full sack header and the chrome works pipe. Oh, it loves Look it. at the difference it of how it. it carried out, you know, and that says a lot about how the cam timing works with the way these pipes work. And we preach it all the time. Uh, proper tuning in the exhaust makes power, and I mean, you can see it right there. If you overlay those over each other, you can see how that motor liked that pipe yeah. on that cam. Yeah, if, if you picked out this cam from us on this motor, we would push you to the chrome works. This is one of those times we said that one pipe actually did better than the other pipe. And you can see that squeeze on the D&D &D chart right there at about 4,500 RPMs. Absolutely. Where it kind of, and then the cam just like spools itself out. Well, the D&D &D yep. starts to fall off on torque at 4,000 RPMs in all reality. Right. Because then, if you look at the Chrome Works at 4,000, that thing's still taking off like a rocket. It, that's when it picks up. Yeah, between four and 5,000 RPMs is where that Chrome Works just destroys that setup with the D&D. And uh, like we said, this is the most aggressive cam. Yeah. So that pipe being a larger um, setup, it just loves that other chrome And one setup. cool thing about those chrome works mufflers is we have the capability to tune those more than a lot of the different mufflers because there's three different baffle combinations that we can use. These are all using the competition baffle, which is kind of a real good go-to if you're not using their full race system. There's also the louvered baffle, and then you can run it open. Open would be, I wouldn't recommend that for, for even this big of a setup. It makes it tough on the bottom. So yeah, bad. you're going to lose a lot yeah. of your bottom, your bottom end. Yeah, and what we've noticed is the baffles help almost every time we put them in on every motor combination. And they don't change the sound. Yeah. So it's, I mean, you can see from the sound clips, I mean, even the Chrome Works has a nice, deep, low rumble but it's not quiet by well, any it's means. not just the mufflers too the mufflers help out also is the head pipe we're using on the setup mm -hmm. the head pipe is making the difference too so the mufflers are working really well with what we're using but it comes down to pretty much the the marriage of the two the full sack header pipe is kind of what's making that number that allows those mufflers to work well so it's just not any head pipe with the chrome works we chose that head pipe for a reason, right. because yeah. we've seen it outperform some other ones we used to use on the M8s. Yeah, it loves it. The, yeah. Yeah. the full sack has outperformed what we used to use on the twin cam, so we've, we've kind of dished our other head pipes and went to them just because of the results we're seeing. Yeah. And we've gone through a lot. You know, I think we're also real fortunate in the, the setup that we have that, I don't know, I think we've, we've probably built hundred bikes in yeah. the last two years, yeah. I would say. And we've tried all kinds of different combinations. We've done tuning for people that bring in their own combinations. Some of it works, some of it doesn't. And we record all that data. I mean, every yeah. single one of those builds, we refer back to them. We figure out what works, what doesn't, what it liked, what it didn't. And you start to narrow down on these little combinations of little parts and pieces that work well together. Some pieces, you know, don't play very well together. And you start to compartmentalize that stuff and go, okay, you can group this stuff over here, this stuff over here, and figure out what parts work well together. And, and that's why your build sheet is so critical, I think, because we can, when people start coming in and they say, I want to do, I want a motor, yeah. we immediately ask questions. What, well, what do you, how do you ride? What do you ride well, you know, to I a want, I, Somebody will say, I want, I want the most horsepower I can get. Well, how do you ride? On the freeway. You, you don't want the most horsepower you can get. No. You want, you want the area under the curve, man. Yeah, you want a hard hitting <laughs> torque cam so you have roll on passing power. And yeah. a lot of people just don't realize the relationship between the two. Last but not least, the Redshift 472. So I found one little blurb on the internet about this cam. Uh, the 468 is real popular. A lot of people wanted that in the shootout. But later. Yeah, we're, we're trying to do these by, you know, similar lift sizes because we want results like this. We want to show you that these are all great cams. Yeah. These are all very, this is very particular and individual on a choice. We can do this result as long as we have a quality component, which all of these are. We can reproduce these, result, these results. So, Zipper's performance was kind of hesitant about 
want letting us do this because they're like, well, we don't want somebody to go out there and start trashing our product. We showed them some of our other dyno sheets. Uh, we actually had a couple other manufacturers vouch for us that that's, you know, that's not what we're trying to do here. So at the last minute, they said, yes, we want you to run the 472 cam. They tried to overnight it for us. There was a storm in Maryland. The overnight got cut off. They drove the cam to the airport yeah. and found a FedEx <laughs> airplane. There was some serious put extra it on the airplane that themselves. That. that was cool. And we were <laughs> yeah. in constant communication. Jeff, I'm sorry. Yeah. I blew up your phone. <laughs> I blew up your email. I did all of that. I'm very guilty. I'm sorry. But this guy was yelling and screaming at me. He wanted it here. So thanks for getting it here. I well, I think it. he just wants to sit here and drink with us. So <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday. He didn't want to have to do it next week. But we appreciate it. Um, it was super cool that you guys were picky with your product too. Um, we're picky of what we do, and we we thank yeah. you for allowing. They us had to a do lot this. of detailed questions about how we were going to run it, how we tested it, what our goals were, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, well, well, not only it was that, very cool. I, Hopefully, I love, yeah, we, we. I hope we met their expectations yeah. because they exceeded ours. Well, man, this this cam matched the SNS with torque. It's the Tarkis cam we have with total torque. And if you look at the numbers and you lay their graphs over the SNS 475, they're real similar cams in all reality. They are. This one Super comes similar. on a little bit earlier because it has a little bit earlier intake close. This has a 23 and a half degree intake close where the SNS has the variable intake at 27 and 31. It, it so does come on so it look comes again on too, man. a little bit before the SNS. Between the D&D &D and the, the Chromeworks with the, uh, the full sack head pipe, Look at how it kind of pops up early and lays flat and then carries out a little bit. Yeah. It's just, it's interesting how it did that. This is the second one that did that. I mean, it's a great all around cam. It's got the torque down low where you need it. It's got the horsepower up top. It's just a very solid good cam. Solid. I mean, if you yeah. want to load your bike down and go, if you want to ride by yourself, beat your boys, it's a good cam. Yeah. I mean, I'd run it all day long. Oh yeah, for sure. And overall, the similarity of all these results too. I mean, there's not a one of them in here that's like completely out of the ballpark in horsepower or torque. Well, you know, I'd run any one of these cams on my bike. In our, there's not one that's like, oh my god, I wouldn't run that cam. They're all great. Some just have a little bit of different um, characteristics depending on your riding style and what you're doing right. and what your needs are. Yeah, they're just tilting the curve a little bit back and forth over one another. That's about all we're seeing. Well. Here's to testing cams. Cheers, that's all the hard work. 500 lift next. <laughs> so, what do they sound like? Well, there's 23 and a half minutes you'll never get back. Bye. You should subscribe to our YouTube channel.